Yeah, I'm afraid it's quite uh, bad news. The uh, we, we were due to get the state of the economy, uh, gross domestic products, and how much it's expanding or contracting by. This is the best measure of just how well we are doing. You know, it's a measure of how much income is being generated across the economy. Uh, the previous month, which is, say, March, those are the previous figures we had, showed a contraction of 0.1%. Well, the latest figures show a contraction of 0.3%. Let me just show it to you uh, on this chart here. Here you can see it. There was my, minus 0.1%. One percent in March, uh, and in April it's down by 0.3 percent. So a contraction. It's actually worse than economists had expected. They thought that perhaps it might be a little bit of an increase, but this just underlines those concerns a lot of people have that the economy might now be heading towards, if not a recession, then certainly a period of contraction or stagnation. Remember the OECD, the, that big organisation uh, looking at economics, they said that the UK would face the weakest growth in any developed economy next year and might face a potential period of basically flatlining. Well, this is showing that we are already seeing uh, some fall in the amount of income we're generating uh, across the economy. And economists will be concerned about it because obviously it comes amid many concerns about the cost of living. Uh, it comes with households being severely pressed uh, by higher costs of energy. And of course, with businesses across the country struggling uh, to satisfy, uh, to try and actually kind of generate the demand they, uh, that they need to try and keep this bounce back in the economy going. So that is a cause for genuine concern. The numbers just out from the uh, Office for National Statistics, and as I say, worse than expected. Uh, there had been an expectation that the economy would uh, actually expand in the month of April, uh, but these monthly numbers suggesting that it contracted by 0.3%. And as you can see, uh, it is the biggest contraction it looks like since uh, uh, December in terms of monthly uh, numbers for GDP. So a bit of a disappointment there. Uh, to, to, to put it mildly, Ed, so, so what then are the tools at the Treasury's disposal, at the Prime Minister's disposal, to, to try and do something about this in the short term? Well, I mean, in short, you know, the, the government has already put a lot of uh, fuel into, in there. They've, they have announced that they are going to be uh, subsidising energy bills to the tune of £400. That's obviously coming on uh, later in, uh, in the year. Uh, they've also... Uh, produced extra money that's going into people's council tax as well. So you've, you have government stimulus coming through, but the reality is there is a big fall off in demand at the moment, and it's, it's, it's a UK story in particular. Uh, but to some extent, we are seeing something like this elsewhere around the world uh, as well. Many other economies are starting to weaken, perhaps not necessarily as, as quickly as the UK, uh, but nonetheless, you're seeing the same thing. And why is this? It's because we have a massive energy price shock right now. Energy prices have gone through the roof. And as a result of that, that's something that we all notice, obviously, in our household bills. But companies around uh, the country notice it as well, because everyone has to, one way or another, pay for energy. Uh, and that is basically causing or helping contribute uh, to this. You've had really strong growth uh, just last year, uh, in these months last year. But now look at the where we are at the moment, two success, uh, successive months uh, worth of contraction. It's not quite in recession territory uh, yet because we need to actually get the quarterly numbers. So when people talk about recessions, they tend to mean two successive quarters of contraction. We're talking here about months. So we're yet to get the rest of the months uh, in the current quarter we're in at the moment. We need a couple more months for that. But if that continues, obviously, then we're talking about a quarter uh, of contraction and then that's one step closer to a recession. One, Just a little bit of detail, because this is data that's just come in literally a few minutes ago. Uh, in terms of what's contributing to it, services, so you know, that's the main part of the economy, 80%. Uh, that is the main thing falling by 0.3%. But we'll bring you more da uh, data and more detail on this uh, as we have it. As I say, disappointing news that the economy uh, is falling at the moment.